Hello everybody, so I'm going to be explaining to you the Heads and Tails code on Google Grasshopper. So if you don't know what Google Grasshopper is, it's a coding website made by Google that teaches you how to code. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, so it teaches you how to code and um, it runs you through the basics and everything like that. So I just started a few weeks ago. So, I want to do a tutorial on one of the things I learned. So, I'm going to explain everything the best I can, and I'm going to teach you how to make a heads and tails flip in Google Graphop. So, here we go. First, you can name your snippet whatever you want, it doesn't matter. We'll just do that for now. Here, so let me explain. You have var. Now, what var does, var stands for variable. Now variable, what it does is you could type in any variable, just do hello, and if you're saying you want to print something or something, like on the bottom, you would put hello equals hi, sorry, you need to make this hi, I'll explain that later, and then you do print hello, and then on the bottom here, you see hi. See? Well, so, that's what that does. In this case, we're going to be making the variable answer. If you're following along, that's cool. I'm done. It's smart. So we're going to make the variable answer. And then we're going to make it equal pick random. Now, if you're wondering why that R is capital, because I'm the I'm coding with JavaScript, that's how I'm learning how to code here. Um, JavaScript is what they call what is called cap sensitive. Cap sensitive means you have to have the right capitals. If I didn't have that capital there and it just had a lowercase, this code would not work. And I'll show you how. But for now, I'm gonna do it with capital. Pick random parentheses. Bracket. Make sure this is the tricky part. I had trouble with this year. I have to remember this part. Enter. Quotation marks. Quotation marks. A quotation mark and whatever word is called a string. A string lets you print answers, like how I printed hi down here. A string is basically like a word that. Okay, I'll explain. If I were to put print, print, um, I don't know, my channel name, right? This is my channel name. If I were to print channel name, I run the code, it'll print it down there. You see? See how that works? So, string is pretty much just, um, a word that you want to have in the Okay, no. in pick random here, if I put heads, that's the code we're using, right? And I run the code. Oh, hold on. Oops. I forgot, you need a code. Run code. Oh, wait, hold on. Answer. Encode. Oh. Okay, whatever. So, string is basically. I don't know how to describe String is just. It's. It's like a sentence. There you go. It's like a sentence they put into the code. So, let's get this code back. Okay. So, you want to put string heads. Now, this is very important. It took me days to figure this out. You want to always, if you're doing pick random like this with multiple choices to pick from, always want to put a comma between each choice. And I've made so many mistakes doing that. And you always have to put semicolons at the end of your code. Remember that too. So now, if you put print 
answer. It'll pick between tails and heads. So it's random, like that. See? So once we have this code set up, we want to go down. You could you could skip mine if you want, and you want to do if. Now if is this if answer equals to three equals always equals to heads. Oops, forgot heads. Oh, hold on. If answer equals to heads, draw boxes string gwg gg gwg. Okay, let me explain this. If answer equals to heads, if the variable equals heads out of the pick random, this com this code tells it if it equals to heads draw these colors draw boxes of these colors this draw boxes thing is only specific to grasshopper i'm pretty sure but gwg green white white green white green 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 white green that's what that stands for also send colon always so now next line we're going to do the same code if answer but this one's different. Equals three equals always tails. You always have to put this certain type of um parentheses or else it won't work. Draw boxes R R R W R W W R W Red 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 White Red White white red white it could be any colors you want but this is what these are the colors they use to teach you so after you do that end off the code this right and then your code's done so this is all you really this is all you need so if you're on the code here is the answer so heads and here's the answer for tails so it's completely random, completely random, and multiple times, as you can tell. You can do different colors, maybe you don't like red, maybe you, you can mix up the colors, maybe you don't like red, you like blue, run a blue command, look at that. Maybe you hate the color green, can't blame you, use black, black is K for some reason. Uh oh, that's not good. But you see where I'm going with this? Like, you can just change up the colors all you want. K is white for some reason. Oh god, wait. That's, um, oopsies. But, yeah, so... You can do whatever you want to the colors. You just gotta make sure the colors are white. So, that's how you code this specific, like, heads or tails flip. I'm sure there's other ways of coding it, but this is the one that Grasshopper teaches you. I'm going to put the link to Grasshopper in the description, so you can go try it out, it's completely free. You just have to sign in with your Google account, no subscriptions, nothing like that. You just hop in on your phone or on your computer and you start coding like that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.